Working with a complex structure with lots of spans attached at lots of heights, it's sometimes difficult to um, visually determine which item in your 3D view and matches up with which item in your um, inventory view and so on and so forth. So one of the things that you want to be able to do is maybe declutter the 3D view by filtering out some of the objects. So you can do that either by angle or by elevation or in fact by both. So let's, uh, let's start out um, looking at how can I do this based on elevation. Um, if I look at my um, schematic view, my side view, there's these little sliders and they let me se select a top range and a bottom range of the objects I wish to display. So if I set it so it's on either side of this set of cross arms, what in fact happens is only those cross arms and things attached to them and things at that height are displayed and a little pair of sunglasses pops up to let me know that I'm in fact doing a filtering operation. Also, although all the items in my inventory view are displayed, those items that are actually within the range that I've got it filtered down to in the 3D view are highlighted to let me know uh, which ones are which. I can do the same sort of operation. I click R for reset and it goes back and the glasses disappear. Um, by looking, for example, at the overhead view. And I'm going to dock this thing down here just so that we have a little more room. And you'll notice in the overhead view, I have a little red handle and a little blue handle. And the little blue handle lets me set what is the shape in degrees of the cone of the objects I'm going to see. So I swing it around like that, and so all the things in the highlight area are displayed. And then I can change the angle of that cone by moving the little red handle. So if I swing it around like this, I can see objects like that and that. If I make it, if I make this thing large enough that I'm actually seeing everything, you know, in that range, I can look at everything plus or minus, you know, 80 degrees like that. And again, the little pair of, of uh, sunglasses pops up to let me know that I filtered, and I can click reset to reset. And just so you can see, if I select to, and to do both, I can say that I want to select everything at that angle and in this range of heights. And now I'm filtering both by height and angle. And so I can pretty effectively declutter my view. And, and now I have a good idea of what things I'm seeing um, in the inventory view and, and in the 3D view.